Hey guys, thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you today by doing a little Q&A. Today, I'm reacting to your YouTube comments. So this comment is in response to my No Man's Sky video that Internet Historian made. The new Interceptor update just dropped last week, a pretty substantial one. All kinds of new content ships, enemies, tools, environments, as well as bug and performance fixes. Their 25th content update, if I'm not mistaken, since their launch seven years ago. And it actually went ahead and checked out this update. It released just three days ago, so that's awesome. I really want to play No Man's Sky sometimes. I just haven't decided if I'm gonna go ahead and do it or not. This looks like a cool update. They've really grown the game a lot. Oh, and it's on Steam! Oh, it's on the Nintendo Switch too. Nice. Yeah, they, they've put a lot of work into turning this game around. Oh, they even have VR? Oh, that's cool. Oh man, I hope one day I can afford a VR headset and play a VR game. A lot of people who play VR have like motion sickness from it, and I sometimes wonder if I have the same thing because I am sensitive to motion sickness when I'm in a car, but uh, I want to try that someday. Can you please react to the man in the cave from Internet Historian? So I was actually planning to react to that and then the video got copyright claimed, which a lot of you guys saw. And uh, I've been waiting for Internet Historian to re-upload it. Someone else did temporarily, and I added that to a playlist and thought maybe I could react to that. But then that video became unavailable as well. And I actually realized that makes a lot of sense. If Internet Historian got a claim on his video and I reacted to it, wouldn't my video just get a claim on it too? So uh, I think I might wait until Internet Historian just uploads the version without you know, whatever that claim issue was. Otherwise, I just feel like my video would get taken down and I feel like every VTuber that's reacted to that video is at risk of the same thing, so why not just wait for the update, you know what I mean? I could be wrong, but that, that sounds like the safest option to me. As someone who suffers from severe depression, which society sweeps under the rug because I'm a guy, and nihilism, what you said at 12-ish was effing refreshing. I came for laughs, not something genuinely refreshing and nice. Subscription earned. P.S. Found your content yesterday and I am loving it. Keep up the great work. Every now and then I go on these random tangents in videos where I get really philosophical or sometimes existential. And uh, I'm glad that you guys appreciate that. I know that reaction videos are supposed to be kind of lighthearted and just let's laugh at something or be confused by something together. But uh, I think that there is a lot of chaos and suffering in the world. And so I try to throw in a little bit of motivation or positivity and stuff like that. And uh, I always hope that it helps someone. I think that we need it. I think we need more of it. And by the way, this comment was uh, in reference to the incognito fashion video. I went on a little tangent there <laughs> 12 minutes in. There was actually another crazy boat you should check out. The Oceanos, where the crew abandoned ship without telling the passengers that it was going to sink. Nor did they put out any distress signal. It was actually the entertainment group that put out distress calls and helped organize rescue measures. Okay, so I had to Google this. So according to Google, the MTS Oceanos was a French-built and Greek-owned cruise ship that sank in 1991 because of uncontrolled flooding. This actually reminded me of another comment that I got. Someone said that they were really into sunken ships. It was just like kind of a passion of theirs. And I just imagined someone with a whole room dedicated to these small-scale models of different ships that sunk. One time I went to a, a museum dedicated to the Titanic. I want to say it was in... Washington, D.C.? Oh, this looks familiar. This looks familiar. D.C.'s National Geographic Museum. I think this is where I went. Yeah, this looks like it to me. It's been a few years, but... Anyways, that's really interesting. It would be cool if Internet Historian covered a whole bunch of ship sinking situations. At the same time, I think there's a reason why he's making so many short form videos these days. I sometimes wonder if the longer form videos really pay for him because he puts so much effort into like having an accurate portrayal of things and there's so much detail involved and it's entertaining. It, it just looks like so much work. But this is really cool and props to whoever that person was who uh, has an interest in this. I think that's really cool. 
I recommend checking out Internet Historian's reading of the Harry Potter fan fiction, My Immortal. It had me dying when I first watched it. I'll be sure to check that out. More Internet Historian videos will be coming in the future. Here's another comment about it. I wish you could watch Man in Cave, but it got claimed last month, and Internet Historian hasn't gotten around to re-uploading it yet. Yeah, yeah, we just gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. I'm sure he's very busy. Here's another comment that talks about the Man in Hole video. As someone who is in the Air Force, I found this event to be half hilarious and also half worried. I was deployed when this happened, and I was checking to see what would happen. Glad to see it went well. Also, you have such a great voice, and you make very nice commentary. I think you'd really love his whole video. I'd be careful if you have claustrophobia, though. Uh, thankfully, I don't. In fact, <laughs> I'm 4'11", and I find small spaces to be very cozy, because usually, no matter where I am, everything feels freaking huge. So I think that things that would be claustrophobic for most people just feel cozy and, like, the perfect size for me. I can't believe someone actually put in the work to do this. Just Leela panting. I'll stop right here. I'm tired of pausing and editing my comment every time. I'll just make a video compilation of it instead. Seriously, why has nobody ever done this? This is content. Hey, go ahead. Feel free. As long as you're taking the content and turning it into something different, I don't mind if you clip it or anything. Although I will say this is a interesting choice of direction for <laughs> turning turning the videos into something else <laughs> but yeah you can make your own edits just make sure that you transform them into something that's unique you know something that represents you creatively redoing the game of thrones finale is one of the funniest videos i've seen i highly recommend it i'll check it out but but i actually haven't seen game of thrones at all i want to but I also just keep thinking, oh, well, I mean, it's been so much time. Maybe it's too late. Maybe I'm, I'm too late to the party. But uh, I still see references to it all the time. So maybe I will. Maybe I will. And then I can watch this. <laughs> this video and understand the context. I love your videos because you don't sit and see. You make commentary, which I appreciate. Also, you should see The Man in the Cave or From Incognito Mode, The Haunted House episode. I'll definitely cover The Man in the Cave in the future, but I've also seen The Haunted House episode mentioned a few times, so I'll be adding that to my list. Wild to think the Area 51 meme was one of the biggest memes and actual meetups right before the Panini. It was fun seeing so many different parts of the internet come together <laughs> for just a joke. What a wild year it was. Thank you for the video, Leela. Hasn't it been a crazy past few years? I mean, it's becoming so normal for people to be isolated and to some degree not even have friends. Sadly, I think that's partly why VTubers have kind of exploded in popularity as much as they have. I think we're getting so used to not really being as close to each other as we used to be. At the same time, I do think it makes it easier for content creators, for more people who want to be creative for their career, to be able to help people in a way that's meaningful. I don't think that VTubers should be a replacement or a substitute for real friends or anything like that, but some people don't have a choice. Some people are so isolated that they can't meet people in real life for whatever reason. And something is better than nothing. I hope we get to a point where we're more balanced as a society, but for now, I hope that VTubers in general just do a good job of being a good influence, helping people to laugh and find community and people that they can relate to. Because we all need that. Congrats on 7.5k! It's great seeing your channel and community grow! At 3425, you said, always have a contract. Uh, yeah, this was in response to the Internet Historian Area 51 video. Your red eyes with silver hair in Twin Tails just gave me major Cube vibes from Modoka Magica. Cute and scary at the same time. I love that anime. It's been so many years since I've heard of it. For those of you who aren't familiar, the anime has a very cute aesthetic on the outside, but the storyline is as serious as a heart attack. I really recommend it. It's an unusual take on magical girls. And it's just awesome. I love it. I love it. Another fun hour of watching Leela react. I'm so glad to see more and more people find you. Almost 8k now. Yeah, and as of me making this video, we're there. A little off topic, but every time you have a close-up, I keep expecting to see at least one little fang sticking out. I know you talked about getting a new model in the future, and I can't help but hope that you become fang gang, either with one tiny fang like Ina and Muna, or multiple fangs like Iris. Oh no, that's, that's Iris. Iris. 
I've had my new model for several weeks now. I've just been kind of keeping it a secret for my debut, which by the way, I've decided my debut is going to be Friday. So yeah, if you want to hang out with me on Friday, I'll leave a, a link to that in the description in the comments below. I don't have fangs, but I have other things, other things that I love. It's really cute and yeah, I'm really happy with it and, and can't wait to evolve. What if Area 51 was a VTuber? Well, there was something like that. Her name is Area 51 Chan and she is one of the Meriwether Media's creations. I kid you not, before I even read this comment, I was trying to figure out like if Area 51 was a VTuber, what would her name be? And Area 51 Chan came to mind and I was like, oh, someone should do that. And then I saw this comment and I was like, yes. So I looked it up and there's quite a few places where she is. I'm gonna see where her Twitter leads us. So this here looks like Area 51 Chan. <laughs> they even have this YouTube video on their YouTube channel. It's kind of cute. So that's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Less than a minute in and Leela's already Google wheezing. Enjoy the rest of the video. Also, happy to see your following grow. What's the next IH video on the list? Man in Cave is excellent, though you need to grab a mirror at the moment. But the short ones are pretty darn hilarious. You really can't go wrong with Internet Historian. If Man in Cave was available, that would be the next one. But since that one isn't available and a lot of you guys have been mentioning the Haunted House video, I'm gonna probably cover that one next. You know, I was wondering if Leela liked anime, then I remembered she's an anime girl. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. I think my taste in anime is pretty broad. I like things like Angel Beats, Ghost in the Shell, The Vision of Escaflone. That's a really old one, but it's a good one. Uh, Sailor Moon, of course. In middle school, I watched Shugo Kera, Soul Eater. I mentioned Modoka Magica before. I like that anime a lot too. Chobits, although that one's a bit more mature. I love Inuyasha so much. I have the whole box set. Toradora, Shiki. I like a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I'm someone who can appreciate a lot of different genres. Your tax dollars were spent to teach soldiers how to Naruto run. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse about government spending, because on, on one hand, I'm like, I'm sure they've wasted it on far more trivial things versus this. Like, is it sad for me to say that this kind of feels like an improvement? <laughs> Elameo, you went to Roswell. Hopefully not just for the aliens. <laughs> yes, yes, actually, I went just for the aliens. And uh, <laughs> and that's partly why it was so disappointing, man. Uh, the museum was cute. If you're an EMT, firefighter, stuff like that, they'll give you a discount, by the way, if you actually thought of going. But uh, it's just one of those things where you can tell the town by itself doesn't have much to offer. So since they know that the alien thing brings in a lot of tourism, these businesses dress themselves up in an alien-inspired fashion to, like, capitalize on that hype, you know? And it's just so obvious, the closer you get to the museum, the more that everything starts to be alien-inspired. And there's just, like, not a whole lot of remarkable stuff going on there. So even though they dress it up in this supernatural way, it's not that much more impressive. With one exception, guys, I'm about to share with you something you probably didn't know. So Roswell is home to a UFO-inspired McDonald's location. Yes, you heard that right. It's a McDonald's that looks like a UFO. This is real. This actually exists. And I'm pretty sure it's the only one of its kind, too. So in case you're wondering how seriously Roswell takes its uh, Roswell incident-inspired uh, lore, and uh, uses it for marketing purposes. Yeah, yeah, they, they take it very seriously. This is kind of impressive. This is actually one of many things that made me interested in visiting Roswell because I thought that like the alien thing would be taken like really seriously in a cool way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is probably like the coolest business in Roswell because <laughs> all the others are just like ordinary places, but they have like paintings of aliens on the windows or something. It's not like as high effort, you know what I mean? But anyways, I don't eat at McDonald's, so I just thought it was cool. I live about an hour away, and the coolest thing about Roswell is all the street lamps look like alien heads. Can't think of much else worth talking about. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it just doesn't have much else to offer. I, I kind of hope that they uh, 
upgrade a little bit in the future, get a little more inspired. Hi, Leela. I'm glad all is well with your channel. Hopefully one day you'll get back with those funny president's videos. Who knows? Another way to help your channel grow is react to movies as well. I will definitely be responding to more funny presidents AI videos in the future. And movies is a really interesting idea, however, and I don't know if this is really still an issue on YouTube, but years ago, creators would get so many copyright claims from Hollywood, from movie companies who didn't want YouTubers to use any of their movie content, any of their film content in any YouTube videos. Now, YouTube's claim and copyright system has improved a lot since then. I actually watch a channel called Cinema Therapy where a therapist and a filmmaker sit down, watch movies, and give really great commentary from both a filmmaking and therapy perspective, and it's so cool. Um, and they're able to do it and make it work, so there might be a way I can do that too, but I feel like they've got to be doing something to like make that work to uh to be able to review copyrighted content without worrying about you know disney coming after them so i think i'd have to just research uh, how to do that respectfully and uh within the rules of youtube uh, to make sure that i don't accidentally put a ton of work into something that uh might not be sustainable you know you gotta react to lost content sumito in horror house next so I searched this up and I think this is one of Internet Historian's secret channels. Live, laugh, love. Subscribe. Cool. Okay, okay. I wonder how many other channels he has. He has so many channels. Oh wait, I just realized it says, yeah, it's me. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, okay, that's really cool. I, I will add this to my list. Thank you for mentioning that. All right, guys, thank you so much for your comments. There will be more Q&A videos like this in the future. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below on this video or other videos that I'll be releasing in the future. And I'll try to get to as many of you as possible. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you again tomorrow.